Flame ionization detectors have been the industry standard method of measuring engine hydrocarbons for many decades. This particular variant of the FID is a very fast version. By fast, I mean it has a response time of about a millisecond. So it's about a thousand times faster than standard emissions bench analyzers. The fast response time is achieved by having the detector in this remote sample head, very close to the point you're sampling from the engine. The sample gas is taken through narrow heated capillary into the sampling system and eventually into the detector. At this sampling location, we're measuring in the exhaust port of the engine. And from this data, we can derive some information about the stored hydrocarbons which miss combustion from the ring pack crevice. But what we're doing today is installing the sampling of this port fuel injected gasoline production engine. This application is quite difficult because we have to cope with the fast changing high pressures in the cylinder. The measured hydrocarbon concentrations are also very high, but this system has been modified with an extended constant pressure sampling system to accommodate the high frequency pressure pulsations from the engine cylinder and to decouple the data from pressure interferences. We use an offset sampling spark plug, similar to those used for cylinder pressure measurement, but modified to take our in-cylinder sample probes. And we use this to sample from the plug's electrode location. So we'll first calibrate the system with some high parts per million span gas using a standard exhaust probe. Then we'll switch over to our in-cylinder probe, which is already installed in the engine. Okay, we'll see. Here on the screen is the hydrocarbon trace. Two and a half cycles are being shown. We can see some cyclic variability at the pre-flame hydrocarbon levels and these correspond to about 33,000 parts per million. Now at lambda 1, at stoichiometry, the level for gasoline air mixture should be about 42,000 parts per million and the difference between what we're seeing here and that 42,000 ppm level is caused by the dilution of the charge with a residual burned gas and this is quite considerable, this throttled uh, idle condition. A portion of each cycle is actually invalid because the low cylinder pressure during intake means that we have insufficient sample flow to the detector and effectively we get some signal dropout. If we introduce some span gas into the calibration system of our sample head we can actually backflow this calibration gas and this will rise up to show 50,000 parts per million and this will occur just at the invalid parts of the of the cycle. Now the engine's warmed up, this burn down is a bit more clear. This is a more vertical and a more complete burn down. The top of the trace just before the burn down should be relatively flat and this shows the concentration of the hydrocarbons just before ignition. Occasionally if there is a misfire and this engine is running a little bit unstably, this misfire is evident by a longer period and without any burn down.